Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to draw this RV in Procreate. Now, I'm going to start off the way I normally do. I go up to a wrench icon, I tap there, and then I'm going to go to Canvas, and after Canvas, Drawing Assist, Edit Drawing Guide. There we go. And so, uh, it's basically, all I want to do is just change the size of the grids. So I'm going to go to Grid Size, and instead of just trying to mess around with this thing, I'm just going to tap on where it says pixel, tap there. And 250 is good enough number. So I'm going to go done. And I'm happy with everything else. Done. Okay, now I'm just going to start going. Now, I said RV, but really it's a camper, right? Go there, tap there, go into my sketching. 6B pencil, size. Oh, it really doesn't matter, but... 36, definitely 100%. I like using black when I sketch. So there you go. So we can do something where we do like a circle like this. And the bigger the circle, the bigger the camper. So let's just say it's going to be something like that. Typically, these little teardrop ones, i probably going to go out to maybe, uh, maybe about right there and going to just loop it down like this oh in case anybody's wondering i'm using a eight inch by eight inch at 300 dpi canvas and it's square okay so there we go so doing that there's my basic teardrop usually there's some kind of a window thing there the door is somewhere around here maybe a little higher something like that there's a step or so going there. What else do they got? Oh, they have something back here. And I think this is probably where they have what propane. If there's like a kitchen or something inside. Then of course, some kind of an exhaust. <laughs> I'm making this stuff up as I go. And if it doesn't, it has to have some kind of events. So if they don't, you know what? Be a good idea to put a vent on these things on these things I'm pretty sure they do wrap around sort of front window like that and what else do they got oh yeah they always have like some kind of a hitch thing up here so we'll go there there some pole kind of stabilizes a little bit and you know I forgot the tire <laughs> It needs a tire. So somewhere here. I'm doing this by memory. I don't have one of these things. I was one day I was interested in probably getting one. So this is all by memory. So something like this. And I think I might have seen one with maybe like some kind of a stripe. Don't know if I want a stripe, but just in case. Uh the stripe's gonna be right there. Let's see. And this is, I just don't know, but I'm going to do it anyway. Maybe it has some kind of a flap back here. If it doesn't, you know, it may be a good idea to put a flap there. I know you guys have gone camping or maybe even have one of these things. You guys know this better than I do. I'm just kind of just making it up as I go. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. There we go. So that's my camper. Now, as always, I like to go to selection tool up here. And just do some selecting certain parts of it, like this top portion of it. And I'm not going to keep it so round. I'm just going to just go ahead and just move it out a little bit by going to the transformation tool right there and then going on warp. And now I can go stretch it out and just kind of see, okay, well, where does this make sense? Would be, that's too much. So maybe somewhere around there at the bottom, maybe do something here. Selection tool, selection tool, and go around here. And once again, go to the arrow tool and under warp. I'm just going to move this out just a little bit. So everything doesn't have to be perfect yet. It's just kind of a, an idea of what the shape is going to be. Everything else I'm kind of okay with, but I'm going to go tap on the transformation tool, tap one more time. And now this is all going to be under warp, and I'm just... I'm going to just scrunch it up just a little bit. 
And I kind of think this is kind of it. I don't know. If this, what do you guys think you, for you guys that actually have a little camper? There we go. Suction tool once again. I'm going to select this. Transformation. This time I'm going to do uniform. Like there. And I'm just going to just straighten that out like that. And my wheel. Tap on selection once. Selection twice to activate it or reactivate it. Go around the wheel. Transformation once again. And this time I'm going to do warp. And straighten out the wheel just a little bit. So maybe somewhere around there. And okay, one more, one last thing. Selection tool. And I'm gonna do looks like the door here. Like that. And then tap on the transformation tool. Keep it under warp. And then just kind of straighten it out just a little bit. So there you go. That is kind of it. And now we're gonna go into the inking stage. So tap on transformation once, everything is deactivated. Go to my layers, tap on the plus sign, tap on layer one, once again, tap on the N, tap there. And we're gonna scroll to the top and that'll be multiply. And it, right now it's under opacity maximum. So I'm gonna do somewhere in the, oh, let's go maybe 33%. All I want to do is be able to see it. So that looks pretty good. So layer two, going to just drag that down to the bottom like that. Go to brushes. Now I'm going to go to inking. Um, you know what? I am going to do Inca this time. Go to Inca. Let's see. Size. There's 20%. That'll give me that. 20%, uh, maybe more. Let's go to maybe 29%. Yeah, it looks good right there. Then I'm gonna bring up the opacity to 100. And now I'm just gonna confirm to my layers. I'm on layer two. It's on N for normal. We're good to go. So as always, I like to move my canvas around a lot. And sometimes when you do this, you could lose sight of what you're doing. So. Go into the wrench icon there, tap there, and going under reference, tap that. And we'll just move this off to the side because that's what we're doing. You know, I just go like right there is good enough. Stopping that down. Good. There we go. So let's get going. Okay. So I like to move my canvas around a lot, but I still like to see what I'm doing. So that's why that's up. So from here, I'm going to go like that and like that now that looks kind of weird but that's okay because I'm gonna go over that at a certain point and let's see let's do the little window back here like that. if I want to keep it kind of uneven and whatnot which I will I'm gonna just let go right now that's a big window in the back. And this one's going to be a triangle. So I'm going to go like here, 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 and here. And maybe something like that. And I'm going to let go. I'm going to tap on polyline. There we go. Now I get a second shot of this. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit, like so. This one too. Right about, right about there. I'm gonna bring this one up higher too, like that. Next is gonna be another rectangle right here. So we're gonna go there, to here, to here. Maybe something like that, let it go. Tap on quadrilateral, and I'm looking for polyline. There we go. So this one, I'll bring it up to here, here. And I'm going to tuck this in a little bit to about right there. Like that. Okay, that looks okay for me. I'm going to go tap on the transformation tool. Okay. 
now we're going to go ahead and go to a different layer. Go to layers up here. Tap on the plus sign. We're going to add the arc here for the wheel. So somewhere around there. Don't let go. You see, you can still move stuff around. So don't let go. So that looks pretty good right there. We can actually go to eraser and let's go back and activate brush and do a long press. And whatever brush we have there, it's going to be here now, except for the settings. So let's just make that a 21% in size and just erase. That looks good. But if we go to layers and now we go to layer two, we can do the same thing. And we really don't have to worry about this line work that we just did because we're actually under it. So we can go over by just a little bit, but not too much because if we do, then it's going to take out that side. Don't, we don't want to do that. That looks fine. Let's go back to layers. Now layer three. Now we're going to do this window here. Same idea, go into brush and we're just going to arc it just a little bit like this. We're happy with that. Another arc right here. And let's see, we're happy with that. And another I guess a regular line right here. And we'll go with that. Fill in that corner. And then this one right here, we can just connect these two like that. So let's go with that. Let's go eraser. Just take off just a little bit, just to kind of give it a good shape like that. Back to layers, back to layer two. And now we're going to take off this part right here. There we go. Okay. So now we have that going. It looks a little, <laughs> it looks a little crooked, but let's go to layers. Then layer three, selection tool. And we're going to select this part right here. We can do the arrow too, because that's where transformation is. And maybe warp, because all we want to do is just tuck it in just a little bit. Like that. That looks okay for me. Let's tap on the arrow icon. And there we go. Now we can do the other things. The vents and all that other good stuff. We're going to go to brush. Let's see what layer we are, we're on. Layer three. That's fine. Because then that means we can do something like this and we can fix that later. We can do this. And then we can fix that layer later. And then we can go here. And then we can fix that later. And this one as well. And I'm guessing this is like propane or something. Cause I don't have a camper, but I'm going to guess. And this one too. And of course you got the little course finished off with this. Cause they all seem to have this and the ball. So we'll go with this and then the wheel. Like that, and then touch the screen just to make it round. Another one here. Stop anywhere. Touch the screen, makes it round. And now we can go to circle up here, top there. Because now we get to play with the placement and all that other stuff. Okay, that's great. And this part as well. Okay. All right, so let's do something like that. Yeah, they seem to have like a some kind of a red light here. Most of brake light. So they have like a brake light right there. Let's go my eraser. Okay, and then, oh, 
Oh, you know what? There's, they also have like a light up here. There we go. And a very thin rim right here. Like that. Let go. Edit ellipse. And this we can go ahead and just move things around a little bit. Now, if you're out here, you can actually move the whole placement of it without changing the size of it or the shape of it. So let's go with this. Tap anywhere. I'm going to tap there. Okay. Let's go ahead and just add a frame to this. Same idea. Let's do it this way. I'm going to go line like this. Another line going up. And then I'm going to have, then I'm going to go back to layers. And this time I'm going to do layer two. And I'm going to do this right there. There we go. Tap on line. And now we're going to edit the line. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. That's good. Tap on editing. Now let's go to eraser. And just take out this little part right here. Oh, I have to go to the next layer. Tap there. Go to layer three. And there we go. And you need a door handle of some sort, right? That's going to be this guy. There we go. Let go. Tap on the lips. We're going to now we can move it around someplace. Make it a little larger. And just shape it in. I think it's could be somewhere around there. Now, if you grab one of these control points, just one of them, and you drag it, you can pivot because what it's doing is that it's using the opposite control point to be the anchor. So that's why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna slide it in just a little bit like that. That looks good. Tap on the transformation tool. And I think we're kind of at Lastly, let's go back to layer two and I'm going to take this part out if I can't. Oops, got to go to eraser. Go back to layers, layer three. And this one, I'm just going to take a little bit off some of the outline. So that's kind of it. OK, so let's start the coloring. Let's go up to layers, tap there. And now we're going to pinch two and three together like that. Now we're going to uncheck layer one. There you go. Tap on the plus sign. And now we have layer three. Tap on layer two. Now tap once again. And now we're going to choose reference. Go back to layer three and choose some color. Tap on color. We're going to choose. Let's see. What do we got? We can do kind of a silver color. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe like an off white, something like that. Go here. Make that larger. And I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So this is what we can do. Color there. You see that little handle right there? Just drag it down. And that can come with you. That's so cool, right? So the next thing we can do is we can go to color. But first of all, let's make sure that we have an empty part of the screen exposed. That's the gray stuff. And not the canvas. That's the white part. As long as we have an empty part of the screen exposed, we can get our color and we can flick it down to the empty part of the screen like that. If we do that right, then we're going to see this color drop, continue filling, tap there. 
Now you can get our color, whatever it's going to be. And then we can just tap away. That's it. What do you think? No, very little lighter, something like that. Tap there. Now let's go ahead and just maybe the tires. Mm, tires look probably somewhere around there. Something kind of like a, yeah, you know, kind of like this charcoal gray thing. Tap there. And then we can go to silver for maybe that, that. Go a little darker. You see where I'm going with this? Isn't this like super simple? And we would be done like in no time if all we were going to do is just keep it flat. There's that. Let's go kind of this. Oh, uh, maybe there. There we go. And we go kind of darker, which is there. We have our door. Do we want to keep our door kind of white or just a little off? We have an option to do that. And we have our framing kind of in the gray area. There we go. That looks good. A little darker there. Much darker would be there. Oops. Oh, you know, if you accidentally hit an outline, let me do it. Boom. It changes the color of the outline. I don't want that. So I'm going to go two finger tap to go back. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to tap in there. So that'll just, that'll kind of work. Let's go back to kind of a chrome color there. And that looks good. And now the window, sometimes it's tinted. So it could be a darker gray, something like that. And these, is it the stovepipe or something? <laughs> Whatever that is. We can go up there and make that maybe not so dark like that. Okay, so there we are with that. But I'm not too happy the way that looks. Let me just go a little lighter there. Expand and tap there. Maybe that looks a little better. I don't know. We can play with that later. And our light. So our light, let's go with kind of a yellow. Sometimes these things are kind of yellow. Don't you think? There we go. So let's go with something in that range. Now that was pretty quick, wasn't it? If we wanted to, we can do our shadows and highlights. We can kind of go in with a selection tool if we wanted to go there. And then we can do this kind of a thing like that. And then tap on the gray dot, go to feather, and then go to maybe a 20 something. 28 is fine. We go up to the adjustment tool, go to HSB, use saturation and brightness, tap there. And we can just go to the left and then that'll be our brightness. So we're going to darken it up just a little bit, not that much, maybe somewhere around there. It's going to have just a little bit more of the shadow, but to apply it, go back to the S or the selection tool icon, tap it once, deactivates, tap it the second time to reactivate it. So we're going to go here and then maybe around here someplace. We'll have the other one. And I just did just a little bit, just almost a nothing right there. Let me just make it larger. That's what I did. Now I'm going to go to feather there. Amount, that's well, not that much, maybe about 20%. Go back to the adjustment icon up here, tap that. And tap on HSB. There we go. And to the left. And that gives us a little dimension right there. Let's tap on the S selection tool icon. And there we go. We can play with our door. Since it looks like we're getting the shadows on this side and the highlights are this way, maybe there would be a little bit of a shadow on this side. So let's go to selection tool. And let's start here. Let's go there like that tap on the gray dot there we go maybe something here too there and there hit the gray dot and let's see where else maybe there's something here on this side gray dot so maybe there's something here on this side like that on this side as well 
Maybe that's a whole lot, but there you go. And let's just go with this one too. There we go. Just anything you, any place where you think that there would be a shadow. Right there too. Okay, and let's stay with this. Now we're gonna do our feather, and our feather isn't gonna be that much, maybe about 14, 15%, so let's say 16. Adjustment icon, tap there, HSB, tap, tap. Go to the left, just get a little darker. You start seeing just a little bit more of dimension, especially like up in here, this area right here, and in the door. Tap on the S icon once, and let's see what we have. That looks really good, I think. Now let's go ahead and just add just a little bit of the highlights. Let's go to the selection tool icon. Now let's go up here. Let's go there. Tap there. And this one, let's go like this. Let's just go with that for right now. Selection tool. Not so much, maybe about 17%. Let's go to the adjustments icon, tap on HSB. This time we're going to slide to the right. And not that much, because it doesn't need that much. That's okay right there. I'm at 58%, but whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable with, tap on the S, that goes away. And we are just about done with the selection tool. Let's just do the tires a little bit. Let's go our selection tool and we can go something like this, like a half moon. Let's tap on the dot feather, slide it over just a little bit. Same thing. 16% is fine. Adjustment tool, HSB. And we're going to slide that to the right just a little bit like so. Maybe it needs just a little more. Let's go with something like that. Tap on the S and that deactivates it. Double tap anywhere in the lighter region that gets you pure white. Let's go to the brush and let's get airbrushing, soft brush. We're going to go with maybe 3%. Opacity. I like being somewhere in the 50. So high 50 is not bad, 57%. There we go. And because I am going to be brushing this on, I'm going to go to layers. Now, make sure layer three is chosen. Hit the plus sign. Tap anywhere once and then choose clipping mask. There you go. And now start painting. And the reason I did 57% is because this way I can kind of work things in. And what I'm doing is I'm just randomly just, just painting in a little bit of where the highlights would be. But it's giving me a little bit of texture. Back here as well. That'll make it look, look a little bit more rounded. And then this side right here. And so I'm working it in. That's what I'm doing. If my strokes are very light and I'm just working in the white, and I have a little bit more control of how much paint I'm applying. There we go. So the more pressure, more white it becomes, the less pressure the more feathery it becomes. The more you kind of feather it in. So I actually changed my brush to like 9% on this one. So I'm gonna bring this in like this. Okay, let me get down into this area right here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to get a smaller brush again. Let's bring it back down to 3%. Zoom in. And do a little of this. Now I'm going to go to black. Somewhere around there. 
doesn't have to be pure black and that the brush is going to be even smaller. So let's go with 2%. And there. Pure black. So anywhere in the darker region, double tap, pure black. I'm at 57%. So I'm still in the gray area unless I put a lot of pressure and I also go over that area a bunch of times. Uh, that looks kind of good there. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Something like this. So much darker on this side and not as dark on that side. So I'm kind of doing like a kind of like a V shape, leaving this part right here exposed. It gives the impression that it's coming out this way. All right, and on this, because it already has enough, but I just want to accentuate the rim right there. Okay. Underneath as well. Same thing with this guy. Go like that. Make it a little larger, 4%. Go underneath it. So all I'm doing essentially is just painting over areas that I had gone through with my selection tool. And I'm just accentuating some of these areas. It's uneven, and that's really what I'm looking for, uneven shadowing. So my base shadow is already there. Make that a little smaller, 1%. Just some, some areas, I'm giving it just a little bit more definition. And I can long press to get a sample of the color. And now I can go a little lighter if I wanted to. I still have that 1%. I just want this to kind of pop a little bit. Go a little lighter. As I go a little lighter, it starts kind of like coming off the screen a little bit. Go a little brighter. Like that. And you can just change colors. That's what I like about doing it this way because it's so, so effortless. Because my color's here and if I need a quick shadow, I can come down here and, and bring the shadow out. And if I need a quick highlight, I can go back up here and then bring in my highlight. It's, it's so convenient. It, it really is. So I can have my whites. There we go. All right, just a little bit more lines coming here. You may not be able to see this this well on the screen, but in real life, there's enough texture here to kind of give you an idea of, of what we're trying to accomplish in that separation here. And just a little bit more right here. There we go. And leave my hinges alone. <laughs> Just made that stuff up. Okay, and then just right there. And it's just basically just a suspicion of highlight. That gives it the illusion that is coming off the screen. Like that. Back up here. All right. And you can see I, I moved this canvas everywhere because there we go, something like this. Right, so now we're gonna work on the hubcap. Let's go to layers, hit the plus sign. Let's do a color, something like, something like that. 
and let's do a color drop right there. Go back to layers and now tap once more and tap on alpha lock right there. All alpha lock is, it's when we paint, it's only gonna paint on the shape. So we can use a nice big feather brush. The brush we have is 3%. That's nice and big. And we're gonna go maybe just a little darker in the beginning, maybe kind of this gray color. So let's go here. And let's go deeper gray, maybe there. And I'm gonna bring this up maybe 78% like that. Next, I'm gonna go with something a little lighter. Double tap anywhere in the light region that gives you pure white. Slide it to the left a little bit and that'll give me a kind of a bit of an off-white. So we'll go with this. Go over this one just a little bit because it's a little harsh. All right, now we're gonna go back to double tapping the light region. We're gonna get another brush, tap there. Go to inking, ink is good, size, probably nine. Can I say probably because I don't know. Let's see, will this work? Yeah, that'll work. Go to layers, go back to layer four. And now we can do the specular highlights. That's where we go in and we just give it these type of marks all over it kind of makes it look like you know it's a, in this case it looks like it's popping out that one looks like it's shiny it, it it has like different interpretations but for the most part this is the shiniest part of an object specular highlights there we go that that and one there remember the olden days when they used to have like a white wall like this and let's bring that back. And on this part, I want to give it some texture. Uh, but the easiest way to do this, let's go to Selection Tool and Rectangle. And we're just going to make a rectangle right here. Something like that. Inside of the frame. Let that go. Now, notice that you have the zebra stripes. Well, that means that it's protected. If I wanted to get a brush like this, and I wanted to paint over it I can't but if I do it here I can okay let's go to layers let's go to a new layer because we can play with this just a little more all right so so let's make this just a little smaller like that okay and maybe something like this Okay, screen door. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make some kind of screen door. And then we go to layers. I'll make this move this over here. Go to layers on the end. And we're going to go to color dodge. And maybe reduce that just a little bit. All we want is to give an illusion of some kind of texture there. Tap on the S. There we go. Lastly, this is the big deal. Go to the plus sign. Go top of layer five. Do another plus sign. Then we're gonna go maybe kind of a, kind of like a dark gray color. Let's go to brush. What do we have? Inca, Inca will work. 15%. And all we're gonna do is just go like this. And these are where all the screws go, like this. And on purpose, I have this grungy brush because that's the effect I'm looking for. But if you decided to go with a different brush, then that's fine too. But for me, this is kind of what I was looking for. here too okay 
Okay. There's that. And this part go there. This part's gonna go like that. Go back here and go back to um let's go to layer two. Hit the plus sign. We are on Inca, right? Inca. Make this just a little larger. This kind of a gray color, maybe somewhere around there. And all I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to color this part in. But tap here. And this is going to go to the back side. Well, like that. Get my eraser. Okay. So now there we are. If you were in a camp right now, where would you want to be? Well, let's go to layers and layer eight. Hit the plus sign. So here's layer nine. Underneath layer eight, let go. Let's go with a blue sky first. So I'm going to tap here. And that's going to change my background color. So we're going to go from here to there. So maybe something like that. Go back to layers. Layer nine, because the background color only affected this layer. So layer nine, I can go ahead and choose a color. Let's see, let's go with green. So I can do green like this and then have this all green because I'm at the forest. So, or you can go kind of a, kind of a gold color and you're at the beach type of thing. But I'm going to go with green. Go all the way up. Green color. Like that. And I'm going to do this. Go a little darker. Maybe like this. And then maybe have some trees. Go in and hit the plus sign. And... I'm going to tap on, oh, layer nine is chosen. So plus sign, tap here, clipping mask. Going to go hmm, a little lighter, maybe something like this for the trees. And size is good. I'm going to reduce the opacity to somewhere in the 50-ish, 52. 52 is good. And from here, I can just go like that. Like so, and then probably go just a little brighter, right up here. Like that, and probably start getting a little shadowing. So we're gonna go dark green. So if it's gonna follow my camper, it would be there. And if I wanted to do just a little bit of texturing here, I would go a little, just a little darker, but this time I would get an airbrush and soft brush size, like a 10% be good, opacity, somewhere in the 60s, and I can kind of do this. Tap on color, go more kind of this in between green and green and yellow right there and then just start coloring that in too a little on the trees too all right like that and go a little darker maybe something like that and a little bit more orangey like that and just a little bit right here not much just a little bit and we're going to go with the black. And now the black is going to give us a little bit of separation. It's right there. And there. A little smaller brush. Maybe somewhere in the... No, a little larger. Maybe 3%. And just directly underneath it. Give us a little bit more of a defined shadow there. 
we'll go with that right there okay so now we can go ahead and start kind of playing a little bit with the ambient lights because it looks like we got a little bit of wind going this way let's go to layers let's go up to the top layer one hit the plus sign now we're going to go to brush tap there and under airbrushing soft brush i am using 37 percent and a 62 percent opacity what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go here and i'm just going to make a stroke like this i'm going to work it in something like this and i'm going to go to layers tap on the end and then go to darker color hit on the plus sign now tap on color gonna go something dark right there and maybe kind of a, a blue color that it's not really that important but let's just go somewhere around there kind of a you know, like a dark gray blue somewhere around there back to brush soft brush because it's under airbrushing this time we're going to reduce it to maybe 12 percent and then we're just going to just veneer it just a little bit like that and there we go i think we're done and make this just a little larger like that okay well i hope you liked it and if you do please like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and as always thanks for hanging out gotta go